Is this really something they needed us to do? Nope. They'd have hired someone. If that idiot hadn't opened his mouth and volunteered our help. We can develop the island and our muscles at the same time, my ass. Well, we don't have much else to do except wait for Hizuru's answer. Uh-huh. Hopefully, with their help, we can win some friends in this world. It might be a long shot, but it could be an alternative to the rumbling, and that could save Historia from suffering. Mm -hmm. Hey! Huh? Whew! It can't be easy working your butts off when it's this hot out. Yeah, well, we have to be here to watch over this moron, right? You brats got taller. It's like you're sprouting up just to spite me. Hear anything from Hizuru yet? That's why we're here, the Azumabitos replied. <gasps> What'd they say? It's no good. Hizuru either can't or won't help us with this. <clears throat> Makes sense. Hizuru has a monopoly on any resources that we want to export right now. So why would they ever help us trade with other countries? From what I hear, the world's major powers want Paradis to be the root of all evil. We're the shared foe that helps bring them together. Their hatred for us promotes global stability. Then, do we have to rely on the rumbling? Do we have no choice but to sacrifice Historia? That's right. So what? The world's decided that we're devils regardless of what our intentions are? They can't want us to repeat the past, so why won't they consider peace? Probably. Because they don't know better. They don't know anything about us, and that makes them afraid. I agree. Our neighbors across the sea won't trust people whose faces they've never seen. So let's sail out and meet them. If they don't know anything about us, then we'll just have to teach them. <laughs> That's what we scouts always do, right? <laughs> <laughs>